We, the people of India, have solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice, social, economic, political, and equality of status and opportunity, and to promote among them all fraternity, assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity of the nation. In our Constituent Assembly, this 26th day of November 1949, do hereby adopt, enact, and give ourselves this Constitution. Our Constitution is an expression of the democratic urge. The Constitution embodies fundamental rights and directive principles of policy which assure many types of freedom. Our state is a secular state which gives equal opportunity to every group, every part of the country, every state, province and area. It is not enough to talk of political unity. We must have emotional unity which does away with provincial barriers, with caste barriers or communal or religious barriers. We stand for democracy and for socialism, not necessarily in any doctrinaire sense, but in the sense that we stand for some basic principles of socialism. We say that our aim is a socialist pattern of society, something which affects the whole community, helps all the people in the country to raise their level of living and reduce the big differences that may exist Today there is in India a certain vulgarity about the difference in people's standards. There are the very well-to-do and the very poor. It is inherent in the circumstances. You cannot get rid of that by simply cutting off the heads of the tall people. You want people to grow. You do not want to shorten all of them. The basic thing, I believe, is that wrong means will not lead to right results. And that is no longer merely an ethical doctrine, but a practical proposition. Thus, violence cannot possibly lead today to a solution of any major problems, because violence has become much too terrible and destructive. The question arises as to what our ultimate objective should be. Democracy and socialism are means to an end, and not the end itself. We talk of the good of society. Is this something apart from transcending the good of the individual composing it? The law of life should not be competition or acquisitiveness, but cooperation. The good of each contributing to the good of all.